everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing like an orange look on the eyes. I don't know what I'm going for, but I'm just gonna wing it and see how it goes. So if you're new to this channel, my channel is all about beauty and lifestyle and fashion. Um, I haven't done anything in regards to fashion or styling or anything like that just yet because I'm quite new to YouTube. So yeah, I thought today I would sit down, talk to you guys as you seem to prefer me talking to the camera rather than doing a voiceover. And yeah, let's get stuck straight in. So before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe. I would appreciate it a lot. Um, and if you enjoy my content, then head over to my Instagram, that's Kinza underscore Rahman. Also, I've upgraded my camera lens and I've also got some new lighting, which is why everything looks a lot brighter and everything looks slightly different. So without further ado, let's get started. Today we are going to be using the Dubious Place Masquerade Mini Palette. And I want to focus using this palette because it is such a pigmented palette, but I've not seen many reviews online in regards to it. First thing I'm going to be doing is priming my eyelids. I always prime my eyelids with either an eye base or a, or a concealer. So today I'm going to be using Soft Ochre by MAC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to place that on my eyelids. Actually, do you know what? Let's go in with this one here. I'm going to place it just in my crease. So I'm going to start to concentrate that in my inner corner. So I'm bringing it in. And then just blending. Coming in with a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to begin to blend out the edges. Okay, so I'm going to Scotland hopefully on Thursday and I'm going to be driving up and I honestly don't know what to do in terms of like my YouTube, like obviously I don't want to stop filming my videos and my Instagram tutorials, I want to carry that on for you but the only problem is I have so much equipment, it's all so heavy, I know it's obviously going to be a lot easier drive it by car so it'll be easy to just place all the stuff in the car but then I don't know if I'll ever get the time to film that's the thing because whenever I go up I get so busy with my family my big sister she's just had a little boy and I feel like I'm just going to be continuously busy with him what do you think? Should I take my equipment with me or should I leave it here and just take a break through Christmas time? Yeah, comment down below and let me know. I'm going to go in with the shade Cairo, this orange shade here. And we're going to place that on the eyelid. Now I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush and I'm going to start to blend the edges of that orange into the shade Burkina. Now we are going to go in with the shade Ada. So it's this, this shade here and I'm going to place that on the outer corner and start to blend towards the shade Cairo. Into this Makeup Revolution, it's a powder contour light medium palette, it's the Pro HD palette and I'm going to take this second shade here and what I'm going to do is swirl my brush around in that and I want to just clean up the edges so anytime you place like a lighter colour on top basically, I've explained this before, it just erases any mistakes you've made before and it will just soften out your blend so it will soften all the edges don't go in with too much product because then it does begin to look slightly powdery I'm going to take the shade Fulani Fulani? Fulani? Oh my god my accent but yeah this bottom shade here and I'm going to place this in my outer corner I'm 
now using a fluffy brush I'm just going back in just soften the edges out now I'm going to take the shade Casablanca which is this bottom shade here I'm going to place it like on this part of my eye so just like the I would explain it so not your outer corner just like kind of middle to the end and I'm going to go back in with that orange shade we placed in one of our eyelids so the shade Cairo and I'm going to use my finger and start to place that like in the inner corner and just blend it into that gold you could use a wet brush for this as well, it's completely down to you but I don't want that effect because sometimes with a wet brush it just cha completely changes the consistency of the shadow so it gives it that wet look and I don't want that for this look just now. And then I'm going to go back in with that gold shade Casablanca. But this time I'm going to use a brush and I'm just going to start to work that in. Okay, and I'm going to use my fluffy brush just to help blend all that out. See, once I blend it out, like all the, the colour actually just disappears. Like it doesn't stay as pigmented as it initially did, which is slightly annoying. That's the only problem with these shadows is that they're pigmented, but I don't know, they're not that. Anyways. Right, we're going to go into the Beauty Bay Identity Palette. I used this in a previous video. And I'm going to go in with this dark chocolate brown shade here. Don't know the name. So I just want to deepen up the corners of my eyes. So for liner, I'm just going in with the NYX Vinyl Liner in the shade Black. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going in with the shade Dahlia, which is down here, it's this shade here. I'm just going to work on my lower lash line and I'm going to just take that dark brown shade from the Beauty Boo palette and just blend that just very slightly under my eyes. some hairspray. I know it's really, that's really weird but because it's a sticky consistency it might just help. And then obviously just start to So yeah, I've just put some hairspray onto my brush and then picked up some of that gold shade and I'm just placing that on top. I'm just taking the shade Ada from the palette and I'm using my fingers and I'm just placing that like between the gold and the, the gold and the brown if 
for highlighter on my face, I'm going in with Becca's Opal. I'm going to use one of the Anastasia Beverly Hill lipsticks and I think I'm going to take the shade Spice. I'm going to take Max Lip Liner in the shade Spice as well and just lip line my lips. Hi guys, so this is the completed look. Please don't forget to show your support and subscribe to my channel. My channel does consist of beauty videos, so all makeup related things. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Take care, bye.